Good morning. It's day four of the 100 Day Reality Challenge. It's been three full days mm -hmm. of season two, and it's been a good one. It's been very, 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 very good. Very glad I'm doing it. I'm going to experiment a little bit and start and stop because I will learn how to edit. Until I learn how to edit, I'm just going to pause it when I'm having a moment of not continuing the story. I want to go with the flow. However, I don't want to do a lot of ums and ahs. Yesterday morning, I woke up feeling a little low energy. I believe part of it had to do with getting to a point um, in this workshop last on Tuesday night that I went to where I learned about the second chakra where the second chakra is the middle, the second chakra, duh. It's the middle part of your stomach where a lot of women actually use it to hold a lot of excess weight in their stomach, which is what I do. I call it excess bullshit. It's our power source for money, creativity, sex, pleasure, all of these, these important things that we need to really fuel our bodies to enjoy various things in the world that we live in. This workshop taught us the importance of releasing the holds we have there and she even taught us some interesting techniques to enjoy our pleasure centers in the second chakra. So I think having that evening of just a lot of information, also understanding that I'm just like, oh my god, what am I going to do? And not having internet connection has really been a little bit stressful. I haven't been able to find the most secure internet connection and I have a lot of things I want to do. So. I decided I'm going to go run some errands and find myself an internet connection. Well, after maybe, you know, 45 minutes, an hour of doing, of doing, which you're not supposed to do, you're supposed to be, well, you can should, no shoulds. But an hour have gone by me trying to accomplish some tasks that I had, and nothing was going right. I just kept going up obstacle, 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 and my mind wasn't really in sync with my spirit, chatter, what, blah, da, 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 da. so I stopped. I just said, what am I doing? Stop moving forward, just stay right here on the corner of 13th Street and 1st Avenue and just breathe. And as I breathe into my second chakra, into my whole energy being, tears began to flow and they just flowed. And I got to a point and I thought, hmm, maybe that means flowing doesn't always mean going. Flow within your own self. Flow with the water. Let the water run. The second chakra is a very water-based ch chakra as well. After a few moments of just flowing on the corner there, watching people go by, I was moved and guided to go to blocks away to another internet cafe and I was there for two hours until my battery wore out. Interesting, isn't it? That in the last two days before that I had not been able to get an internet connection and I was feeling very blocked and very struggling and then boom, a moment of stopping and pausing and flowing within my own energy being I was guided to go online and I had a very productive day. Yay! I love learning lessons and I'm grateful for this time that I get to just think about it and feel it and experience everything that I need to experience right now. The Tuesday night before, we also had another moment where we were trying to find a restaurant and we kept going to these different places, not feeling right. You know, New York City can have these kind of overpriced and overutilized and crowded hot spots that you're just like, ah, I'm not into this energy right now. And after going to two or three ones, starting to get kind of grumpy with the people, my friends, I said, look, we are master manifestors. Let's ex state exactly what kind of place we're looking for. And lo and behold, the moment we did that, we discovered that we all had been to this one restaurant that was actually offering two-for-one wine specials. And when you bought a drink that night, they also planted a tree and they had organic empanadas that were to die for. So, 
lesson of this story, you can figure it out. You can figure it out. You know the lesson, what I just said, you know? Stop and go with the flow within yourself. I am going to do that today because today is day four. And again, I have to go find some internet connections. I want to go swimming in the water. And I'm going to go meet up with a friend. And I'm going to write some more. And I'm going to just be some more. So I really am encouraged by all of the amazing shifts of energy that are occurring in our planet right now and I'm getting to experience them fully and fully awarely. Awarely? Is that a word? Awarely? Possibly. Let's just make it up and say it is. I'm going to close now to say enjoy your day, enjoy your day, enjoy your day. It's better to enjoy it, I feel, than not enjoy it. And we all have a choice to do and be who we are, every single one of us. So my choice is to breathe it, allow it, feel it, and live it! Peace out, and I'll see ya.